Oh, look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> what is happening, people? This is welcome back to another video. I'm T2 Sugars, Welsh graffiti artist, and today I am at St. Richard's Catholic School in Barry. I have eight days to transform this whole room. I need to get everything cleaned, everything organized, and everything painted. First thing I need to do is, is get all the stuff from that's up against the walls, like the goalposts, the desks, everything like that, shove them into the middle of the room, then I can then start painting. And we've got some cool little toys for this one, and we have a guest artist that's coming in. So, let's get started! Right, now all that's done, moved out of the way. I've got my scaffolding built ready. We need to now scrape off all of this wall. It's like loads of de de debris on the wall and things like that. Get all these loose bits off. And then we've got to clean up all the cobwebs that are all in the corners. Sweep all them down, make sure it's all clean. And then we can get my new flashy toy out. And as I mean, a new flashy toy. Look at this bad boy. This is called Q-Tech, Q-T-290. In other words, a big spray machine. Got me big gun, and we just spray away. But first, we gotta do all the cleaning, so then we can get on to the spraying. Really looking forward to this. We don't understand. Wow, so it is now, so it's 5.30, and I've got a single drop of paint on the wall, but I'm gonna get my gun set up now. This area painted here, ready for our special guest tomorrow, and another little area done over here, so that when they come, that their areas are ready, then I can crack on and get ready, the rest of this painted. But all in all, I am absolutely shattered, and it's day one. Um, I busted an absolute gut to get all of this crap and debris off the wall, so uh, that the paint can actually stick to the wall rather than the dust. This area up the top here was black, thick with dust. All that is down now. You can see all the debris all over the floor here. That is now done. I am absolutely pooped. But yeah, right, so I'm gonna get my Q-Tech spray gun set up now. I've got a million tarps, making sure that they don't spray the floor. I'm more nervous setting this up. I've never done it before. So I put my hand over this uh, screen and come back in a sec. When it's all set up, I'll show you what it's like to set up. Is it set up? Let's see what it's like when it's set up. So I flushed the system out through with water and conditioner. It says. So next thing, stick the nozzle in the paint bucket, and then I just spray the wall. Apparently. Here we go. Is squish. So this makes like a ring, ring, ring noise. So there you go. That's how much noise it makes. Right. We've got paint. Wish me luck. All oh, right then. I'm super nervous. Let's see how this goes. So, end of day one. I've got this done, I have got this done, I've got all the walls cleaned. The spray gun is amazing. If you guys want a little bit of an in-depth on the spray gun, just leave me a comment down below, and I will make sure that I do that. But, it is now 8.30 p.m. I'm going home. I will see you guys in the morning. So, we're on to day two. I have my special guest here. This is Hass. He is going to be painting this area and the back area. He is a, an exceptional mural artist and designer. Uh, go follow his stuff, his, 
all of his links are down in the description and uh, yeah have a check of his stuff out is really really good so um Hass is going to be painting a horse in this area for me and a big ass cheetah on this section over the, in the corner here is some juicy footage So day two is done. I'm not gonna to reveal too much of Hassan's work. It is looking. I've now finished all of the background here. And Hassan's gonna start his second piece there tomorrow and I'm gonna just finish off doing the background and hopefully join in. So catch us tomorrow. See you then. So we are back, day three. Hass has finished his glorious cheetah over there in the corner. I'm not gonna give you guys too much of a glimpse. I'm gonna keep that to the end. The guy's a trooper, he's on the mural number two, where I haven't done any murals yet. My job is to get this back wall painted white, and then I can actually start painting. So, let's get it started with D3. So we are done here for day three. The Hass here has done an outstanding job. He's painted us a giant cheetah and a stallion. And it's been one hell of a laugh working with you. And uh, it'll be a pleasure working with you again. But that is it for day three. Join us for day four in a sec. I've got this one wall down with the logos and St. Richard Gwynn's Catholic High School. That is the full term. But now I'm gonna start on this section. Got a little bit of an issue. There's a blinking light timer here and there's a little sensor on the ceiling. And it keeps turning off and it's now half past nine at night. I wanna get this section marked out ready for next week when I come back, because this is a two week project. And I've got a little bit of safety issue that the light is going to turn off when I'm in the middle of painting it on top of a scaffolding. So I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm going to do now, but uh, I'm just going to persevere and see what happens. If it does get a bit too dangerous, I'm going to be turning this. Be, like, if it is going to get a bit too dangerous, I'm going to go home. So give me five and I'll tell you how it goes. Yes, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Nice little time lapse here of the start of 
as you probably guessed, Michael Jordan. Best, best and greatest player of all time. Go watch Last Dance on Netflix if you haven't. But it's really inspiring. But yeah, uh, Michael Jordan, obvs. He's all marked out. I got the proportions incorrect. I've just got to do the tops of his arms, which I'll do when I come back. But it is 10.30 and I'm going home. I'll see you guys on Tuesday, which will be in three, two, one.